Emma Raducanu winning the US Open was extraordinary. The 18-year-old's victory in the competition was the first time ever that a player who had to qualify to get into the tournament as opposed to gaining entry through their rank won the final competition. Just three months ago, Raducanu was ranked 338 in the world. In her first Grand Slam this July, she made the fourth round and the rest is history. However, Raducanu's win hasn't just been celebrated for its incredible sporting merit due to her immigrant background. Raducanu was born in Canada and is of Chinese and Romanian descent. It's also served as fuel for the political take factory. Responses ranged from the anodyne, like this from London Mayor Sadiq Khan. Emma Raducanu's story is London's story. Born in Canada to Chinese and Romanian parents, she moved to London at two years old. Here in London, we embrace and celebrate our diversity. And if you work hard and get a helping hand, you can achieve anything. Her win also reached the more outrageous corners of FBPE Twitter. Will Hutton is a columnist at The Observer. He tweeted the following. Bit by bit, the Brexit case collapses. Afghanistan foretells a new era of America first. She's Chinese menace grows. And now Emma Raducanu's tennis brilliance, fearful of nothing, daughter of immigrants, is testimony to the value of openness. We need to stand with and in an open EU. So Emma Raducanu winning the US Open is evidence that we need to rejoin the European Union. This guy's considered quite a serious thinker, um, author of multiple books. For a while, he was head of a, a college at Oxford, I think, and a regular columnist at The Observer. When it came to online controversy, most debate was prompted by those celebrating it who were deemed to have no right to. Nigel Farage was top of the pile in this respect. He tweeted, a global megastar is born. Emma Raducanu winning the US Open is truly incredible. Unsurprisingly, that tweet got ratioed because of Farage's previous statements about migration and in particular, his statements about Romanians. David Lamy tweeted, Emma Raducanu is half Romanian. Here is one of the countless stories that demonstrate the immense value migration brings to the UK. But you said, I wouldn't want to live next door to a Romanian. You have no right to piggyback on her incredible success. Dr. Shola Moz Shogbamimu, she tweeted, Forgot she's half Romanian and Chinese, eh, Nigel. A xenophobic, racist hypocrite would kick people of Emma Raducanu heritage and talent out of UK without second thought. Nigel Faraz is shameless on Emma Raducanu. Victory when he won't live next door to Romanians and constantly demonises immigrants. Ash, I want your thoughts on this. This has become familiar, especially it seems this summer that sporting victories end up being a moment for lots of people to make political points, especially when it is people who are of immigrant background, often second or, or third generation when it came to, to the football, who are then made as examples of why immigration is a good thing, why multiculturalism is, is a good thing, and then also from the right for, I suppose, very cynical point scoring. What do you make of it? Is, is, is this, is this well-meaning people making a reasonable point, or is this... Is it an odd way of doing politics, let's say? <laughs> let's take the Will Hutton tweet first, where he, in the same breath, is praising Emma Raducanu for her astonishing performance at the US Open, but also referencing Xi Jinping as the Chinese menace. Because this, to me, seems to be just a classic, perfect specimen of FBPE racism. It's something that we heard a lot uh, from you know people during the EU referendum, which is... Uh, Actually, being in the EU doesn't even have an impact on non-EU immigration. So if you wanted to get rid of all those awful Pakistanis and Bangladeshis, you could. Um, or after Brexit actually happened, being like, oh my God, it's so unfair that, you know, my lovely Italian barista, uh, you know, has to apply for settled status, but, you know, any old Indian could come to this country, right? There was a lot of that within the Remain site, something which, um, you know, really alienated me uh, from other people who voted Remain was the sense of um, ranking of different countries, different backgrounds in order to make the point that you wanted to make about EU immigration. I think that Will Hutton's uh, tweet falls into that trap. 
Of course, what Nigel Farage is saying is completely hypocritical. But that hypocrisy, when it comes to the good immigrant, the one who excels in their field, the one who puts their head above the rest and does so in the name of Great Britain and glory to the flag, that's always been something which racists have been quite comfortable with not just celebrating, but sometimes appro- appropriating. Um, it's also a way for them to demonstrate of like, hey, I'm not a xenophobe. I don't like, you know, I'm not a racist. Um, I really celebrate immigration when they pull off a once in a lifetime sporting achievement. Um, so I think that that vein of hypocrisy is pretty well established when you think about uh, British political discourse. And then I think you've got the third thing that you were talking about, which is, is this a good way to think about the politics of sport and the meaning of, uh, you know, BAME and immigrant excellence when it's happening on the public stage? And I think we've got to draw a bit of a distinction between when... Uh, sports stars of color or, you know, cultural figures of color more generally are speaking out against racism and are politically expressing themselves in a very explicit way, which is what we did see with the England football team, uh, the commitment to taking the knee. It's something that we've also seen, for instance, with Lewis Hamilton in Formula One, where the murder of George Floyd was really a catalyst uh, for his outspoken turn where before he was much more of a guarded kind of sports star um and someone like emma radicani who hasn't hasn't yet said this is how i want to engage with the world this is how i want to uh think about not just my own ethnicity and my heritage but also what i want that to mean and what what i what kind of political work i want that to do because when you take that outside or beyond somebody's own hands, I think we then fall into this quite pernicious trap of the good immigrant again, which is you abstract and dehumanize. You take this human being who's got a rich wealth of experiences and thoughts and heritages and influences that they're pulling from, and you flatten them into a symbol of either the kind of nation you want or the one that you don't want. So the good immigrant is by necessity, by the way in which we construct this image, uh, just the the flip of the bad immigrant, right? Both are dehumanized and de-individualized. So I think that we do have to be wary of extrapolating further and saying, and this is the political meaning of Emma Raducanu. Well, of course she says something about this country and the fact that this is a diverse country where the fastest growing ethnic background uh, is a mixed heritage people. That's a change that's happening to this country. And we're going to see that reflected in sports, popular culture, uh, politics, and more. But I don't think that you can say, and this means that we have to, you know, rejoin the EU. Ask her, ask what she thinks about it before you make her into, you know, your little mascot. 